up. Did this dog inspire an entire nation? Is a member of this breed the richest dog on earth? Is this the world's best apartment dog? Can this breed skydive? Dogs 101 celebrates man's best friend. Today, the Akita, the Maltese, the Pug, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, and we start with a dog that artist William Wegman made famous. The Weimaraner. Grace Kelly and Dick Clark had a Weimaraner, and this dog, Man Ray, became Man of the Year in 1982. Elegant, regal, snobbishly aristocratic. The Weimaraner is probably one of the most striking breeds you'll ever lay your eyes on. Weimaraners were born to run. A Weimaraner is not a dog that you're just gonna sort of bring into your home and he's gonna sit there on the couch looking at you serenely. The Weimaraner is a head-turning, graceful, muscular, medium-sized, silvery gray dog with a tail that is often docked. Back in the 1800s, the Weimaraner was developed for the Grand Duke Karl August and his German nobleman in the Weimar Republic of Germany. Weimaraners were bred to hunt huge game like bear, boars, deer. But getting these energetic pups into the U.S. wasn't easy. In fact, the Germans played a dirty trick on the Americans. The first two puppies sent by them to the U.S. had been radiated, which meant we could not reproduce the dogs and start our own line. Sorry, guys, your plan didn't work. Nine years later, a Rhode Island breeder brought three Weimaraners home from Germany, and the breed flourished. Oh, so, cute. Oh. so what makes these dogs special? First, their brains. Called the dog with the human brain, he is wickedly smart and is always looking for something to do, even if the activity is a little naughty. These dogs see where you hide the treats, you go out of the room, they're gonna go get those treats. Next up, their eyes. As puppies, they'll have blue eyes. But as they mature, the eyes turn yellow, which can look sort of spooky. It can actually make them look a little bit like an alien. It makes them look more intense. And speaking of intense, the third trait Weimaraners are known for is their keen sense of smell. In fact, over half of this dog's brain is devoted to his sniffing ability. That fantastic nose got them a job sniffing for missile parts during the Cold War at the White Sands Missile Range. But perhaps the most appealing characteristic is their coat. The Weimaraner has a short, sleek, silvery gray coat. At times, the muted color can create a disappearing effect on the dog, hence the nickname, the Gray Ghost. The accepted coat colors for the Weimaraner range from a light silver gray to a tan taupe to a dark gray. In the 70s, it was that neutral color and regal elegance that caught the eye of California artist William Wegman. Well, I always thought of them as being kind of a blackboard that I could write my own stories on. Wegman, a struggling painter at the time, was dabbling in video and photography. When all of a sudden his life changed one day on the set. His Weimaraner, named Man Ray, which Wegman bought for $35, stumbled into the frame of his camera. I remember trying to keep him out of the sets and out of the shots, and it was really difficult, so it was much easier to incorporate him. He also liked what he saw. Man Ray became his principal model. People began buying his work. No longer was he unknown and starving. Everyone knew him and his dog. And as soon as I had Man Ray, he attracted attention uh, beyond the art world. I mean, people would would be transfixed by this dog. Wegman and Man Ray then starred in these black and white videos. And you spelled uh, O-U-T right. But when it came to beach, you spelt it B-E-E-C-H. It should have been like the ocean, B-E-A-C-H. He puts them into all these different sort of situations where they, they're almost, you know, dog imitating human life. <sighs> to them, I'm a dog, <laughs> or the big dog. But 11 years later, his best friend died, and William was devastated. He lived to be exactly 11.8. I, I didn't realize how attached I was to this dog, especially 
you know, not so much in my artwork, but just coming home, you know, the kind of greeting that you get. Wegman vowed never to get another dog. However, five years later, he was drawn back to the Weimaraner. Her name was Fay Ray, and although she seemed skittish on the streets of New York, in front of the camera, she lit up. She had a way of posing that, uh, that really excited me photographically. When I was about to take the picture, she would just go like that. Like she instinctively knew that this was, this was the space that was created for us. Wegman began doing books, videos, TV appearances, and more. Like this video Wegman created for Sesame Street. Six dogs in the dock on the dock are running towards the canoe. Where are they going or what are they doing and what are they going to do to do? All of a sudden, the breed that sort of went out of favor in the 60s was back in style. And boom, the Weimaraner was the it dog. They're in all these really unique, strange poses, wearing clothes, laying down, sitting up. And that's probably how they became most popular and well-known in the United States. But Wegman insisted his shots and dogs always be respectful and artistic. I didn't want them to become ridiculous or ridiculed. I wanted them to be noble. And so when I made Faye tall, she really looked like she was a mythological character. So then how does Wegman get his dogs to do this stuff? Well, sit and stay is, uh, is dog training number one. Stay. Stay. And as long as you keep uh, a focus on them, which I do behind the camera. Make her more centered. She's listing to one side there. They'll keep their eyes on me. There's Bill. Mm, there's Bill. <laughs> it's very, very easy. And that's really all I ask them to do. And he says his Weimaraners enjoy every minute of it. If a dog doesn't want to do it, and it shows. I don't want that picture. I don't want the ears back, the smiley thing. I want kind of a calmness or an eagerness. I didn't like that. Today, you can find Billy the Artist, as he was called as a kid, hanging out with Fay Ray's descendants, either on the streets of New York City or casually relaxing before their cameo on the set, or occasionally posing like people in the park. And Wegman's three dogs, who, by the way, all sleep in bed with him and his wife, live happily in their New York apartment. But city living is not usually the ideal environment for these highly energetic pooches. In a perfect world, a Weimaraner would live on an estate in the country. As far as training, you must do it early. If you don't take the time to train the dog and give them the attention that they need, they're going to find ways of entertaining themselves, and it's not always the way you want them to. Grooming a Weimaraner is a piece of cake. Every few weeks or so, give them a bath, and they're ready to go. Weimaraners are pretty healthy. Once in a while, they can be prone to bloat, which happens if they eat too much and too quickly. So it's best to feed them two small meals a day. Does a Weimaraner make a good family pet? You bet. Weimaraners make a great family dog. These dogs are highly sociable animals. They want to be with people. Not all dogs adhere to breed standards, but in general, the Weimaraner can live anywhere, but is happiest with lots of running room. They don't have too many health issues. Grooming is practically non-existent. They are easy to train, but do it early on. And they make good family pets. Get two dogs, maybe three. Quit your day job and your night job and spend all of your hours with them. And don't overfeed them. They look terrible when they're fat. When Dogs 101 continues, the breed that shows bruises on its fur. The dog Helen Keller brought back to the US from Japan. Good boy. The fearless pooch who can skydive. And the dog worth millions. 